Here are the directories you should be looking for after you've done the install. You'll find it under Program Files. It should be called Pi. Now I haven't refreshed my screen since I did this install, so I think I'm going to have to go look for it over here in this pane. Yeah, there it is, Pi. And now it shows up over here. Yeah, under Pi you'll find the ADM directory. That's the administration directory. That's where you'll find all the util or some of the utilities that we make use of. Now, this is where the binaries are stored. Now the DAT directory is by default where the archive files are kept. So you'll notice these, you know, these 256 megabyte archives are, are right here, each with a corresponding annotation file, which we'll talk more about later. There's a log directory you'll find here and a setup directory. Now, in addition to that Pi directory, if you've got any of our client applications, you'll also find a PyPC directory. PyPC, the name comes from the old, old name for our, our very first Pi to PC connection uh, software, which later evolved into Datalink. It's basically where all of our clients go. So PyPC is where you would find, for example, the directory for process book, uh, the directory for the data link add into Excel. All those things are here. Now from our point of view, the, the most useful one would be to take a look in the DAT directory. In the DAT directory is where you'll find that master log that we uh, generated during the actual install itself. And then you'll also find within this directory, the PyPC directory, the help directory. So all the help files that you might need for all the different OSIsoft uh, clients and, and server components that are installed on here, you'll find those within here. Now the one exception to that rule is you'll find under interfaces, each individual interface has not a help file but its own documentation. So you'll tend to find that, you know, the help for the interfaces in the interface directories.